Hello pilots, Rich the Man here and welcome back to a brand new video on War Wings. So glad to be grinding this out over the holiday period, hopefully you're doing the same as well. This video is going to be all about the plane known as the Tomahawk. A little plane that I was able to get on rental and was able to pull out an amazing MVP game which I'm going to be showing at the end of this video. But to start off with, what I'm going to do is talk a little bit about the history of this plane and then do a little bit of comparisons between other things in a tech tree which are similar. And then at the end of the video give me my opinion whether or not this should be a premium plane you should buy. So let's talk a little bit about the history. The Tomahawk P-40B is based off of the Warhawk, which was a direct modification from the Curtis P-36. A version of that plane actually can be found in the tech tree, funnily enough. There is also a version of the P-40B in that tech tree as well, so that's pretty strange. Although the P-40B does excel as a tier 4 when it comes to speed and maneuverability. The first Tomahawks that were delivered to the British came without armor, bulletproof screens, or self-sealing fuel tanks, which were installed in subsequent shipments. And this may be the version that we actually see in the game, more of a kind of a scaled down version at tier three. Okay, so now it's where it gets a little bit more kind of complicated to explain. Obviously, we've got the P-36, we've got the P-40B, and also we've got the Tomahawk. With regards to changes and alterations, it looks like that the Tomahawk, which obviously is the premium vehicle and there's no changes you can make to the gun, rocks the 303-inch machine guns. These are the Brownings. Browning, an American-based company, found by a Belgium, but... Uh, they're founded in uh, in America, so they've been supplying firearms uh, for all major wars since the the late eighteen uh, hundreds, and then obviously going through to the the century. So there's not many modifications that the British have actually made to this plane, and that really can be represented by the extent of the changes in the firepower. So when it comes to the P thirty six, which is also a tier three but not a premium. The firepower is 51 against this tier 3, which is 49. So there's not an extensive change, which obviously isn't a great selling point when it comes to buying a premium in general. However, though, I like the little nod with regards to the alterations that the British made to armor and bulletproofing, because it probably is the reason that we see an increase in survivability from 45 from the P36 at tier 3 to this other premium tier 3, rise to 49 so there is a four point increase with regards to survivability doesn't really and overly make a big difference but at the same time every little does count with regards to bombing around in the air the plane itself wasn't very good for northwest europe and that's probably based on its altitude climb though in game we see that the speed is increased with regards to stall time, that could be the main thing that looks at that comparability with regards to the history. So without further ado, let's get into this MVP game and I'll give my final thoughts at the end what I think about buying this premium plane, which is currently on offer. Team Deathmatch.
Right, that was a brilliant game. I saw that I was able to get those four kills, those four assists and only one death, which I really thought that was one of my best games that I've had so far, especially in this plane here. Now, what I did was I would dick it out with a load of decent stuff like uh, consumables that were really helpful in this grind. And that's something I will be covering in a future tips video. With regards to playing ability, yeah, okay, there's uh, a few kind of indiscretions by myself with regards to how I'm treating and tracking planes. But that's not really the kind of the thing. The fact is, if it's stupid and it works, it ain't stupid. But anyway, when it comes to like the idea about getting this plane, you really have to assess the main factors. And that is, well, you know, the comparable at tier 3. Is the tier 3, the P36, better than this one? And I'm not really kind of overly sold by the P36. I think this one with its kind of small amount of increase of survivability does really help. Taking a knock to firepower isn't too great, and we only see like a two-point drop with regards to firepower, which isn't overly noted. When it comes to ground attacks, if you're doing any kind of like ground missions, then you may notice some kind of disappointments with regards to how much damage, but the speed increase and uh, the comparable maneuverability is something that makes this plane really good, especially with the fact that at the moment it's being discounted, maybe a good reason why to get this plane as soon as you can also if you're looking for a plane to start off with like a your first premium and you want to grind out loads of credits obviously you are limited per day how much credits you can get however though this particular one is a good credit earner especially if you have a good load of games and yeah all i can say is it's a good starting premium plane to get on with especially if it's on discount at the moment so that's been a video all about the tomahawk if you enjoyed the video hit that like button subscribe for more war wings and give your thoughts on the comment section below all about the tomahawk do you think it's a good plane do you disagree with me do you didn't think i played well at all give your thoughts and at the same time i shall catch you on the flip side Bye bye for now